Okay, so last week I started my food and fitness challenge uh, basically as my bridal boot camp. And as the wedding date is seven weeks away, I am just... I'm using this as a way to get back into my keto lifestyle because it, my experience has been so great with it in the past and I've just felt amazing. So each week I will be sharing my weekly workout plan, uh, my meal plan of course every single day, my updated weight and feel, you know, just like how, how am I currently feeling in this, in this challenge. Uh, and at the end of every video I will also share a recipe for one of the items that you'll see in my meal plan. So I feel that I owe you a disclaimer. No, I am not a doctor. I'm not um, a keto expert of any kind. I'm just sharing what has worked for me before. And if it works for you, then you know, then at least I, I can be part of your journey in that way, whether it be as a guide or as a sense of motivation or your source of inspiration. You can use this uh, this journey, my journey, you can use my journey for whatever purpose you want. And if this is your first time here, then I highly recommend you check out my first video, which covered week one, so that you can be all caught up. Let's get prancing. All right, as I mentioned before, uh, the week for me starts on a Monday, so we do our way in every Monday. And for the beginning of this week, our weight is at 128.4. I'm definitely feeling a lot lighter, that's for sure. Uh, just all around, I, I kind of feel like my muscles are tightening. Uh, I don't feel as bloated as I usually do. I already like my arms the way they are, but of course uh, I can always improve on the toning. Really shooting for like those Cameron Diaz arms, you know, she has like cuts from Charlie's Angels. I don't know if you guys remember that. Uh, or even Jennifer Garner's arms, she has nice arms. Um, so I'm good with my arms and now I just want to focus more on like my waist and my legs. So I'm trying to get like the nice tiny waist and the nice plump booty, you know, so there's that hourglass proportion. That's what we're going for. So getting into Monday's workout, I did weights for chest, triceps, and obliques. Again, focusing on that nice tiny waist. And then for my cardio, I did a nice swim. Tuesday, focused on back, biceps, and shoulders. And for my cardio, I went on the elliptical. Wednesday, I focused on legs and abs. I definitely had a longer weight session than usual for the legs and for the butt, so this day I did not do any cardio. Thursday is my rest day because everybody needs a rest day, of course, and my rest day always involves having a cuddle buddy. Friday, I did the JLo routine set one, which focused on chest, triceps, shoulders, abs, and for my cardio, I used a, an HIIT sprint. Saturday, I did the JLo routine set two, which is a combination of legs, back, biceps, and abs. And for my cardio, I did the bike. And as you know, Sunday is usually my optional workout day. I, I could work out or I don't have to. If I feel like I got a good, a good workout the entire week, then I'll rest that day. So on this Sunday, I went ahead and just relaxed. All right, getting into the food talk, because I know that's probably our favorite part. We always love talking about food. Uh, I mentioned before that I have tried keto in the past, and that's what I'm incorporating now into this food and fitness challenge. I really forgot how great it is when you get into the flow of keto eating, because my skin just stays so naturally clear. I, I'm not even kidding. The one time I slipped up, then I broke out. It was just like direct correlation. So this is my meal plan for the week. I basically keep the same plan for Sunday, Tuesday, Thursday, and then the same plan for Monday, Wednesday, Friday. And then Saturday is a cheat day, you know? By cheat day, I don't mean like go haywire and, you know, eat everything in your path. It's more of like you, you allow yourself a little bit of carbs to, to keep you sane. You know, if you're having a hard time, most of the time, I don't feel like I really need to cheat on that Saturday. So I do, I don't, it doesn't really matter. So for Sunday, Tuesday, and Thursday, I start off for my breakfast a bacon and cheese omelet. And that's usually just about two to three eggs with some a little bit of shredded cheddar and two strips of bacon all broken up and then folded up. Snack time, I have a cream cheese spinach dip with some low-carb chips. Lunch time, it's a Caesar shrimp salad with some fresh avocado and Parmesan cheese. 
And then for dinner slash late snack, I have a strawberry shake. And the base of that shake is coconut milk. And then for Monday, Wednesday, Friday, for my breakfast, I have a keto breakfast sandwich, which is an egg with any choice of meat, like bacon or breakfast sausage, chorizo, and it's with a, a keto bread bun. Snack time, I have a berry chia pudding. The base of that is coconut milk and almond milk. Lunch time is tuna pokey with onions and avocado, which is a really great source of both protein and fat. You get protein from the tuna and then fat from the sesame oils. It's, it's so fresh and delicious. And then dinner time, I have chicken keleguin. If you're not sure what keleguin is, I'm sure I'll share it in another video, but it's basically chicken with lemon juice, grated coconut, onions, hot doni pepper. I'll, I'll definitely show you guys how to make that sometime. And I have to reiterate, no, that is not the only thing I eat the whole entire day. That is basically what I start with. So I fill myself up all in the good stuff. So by the time I, you know, I'm hungry, I'm less likely to eat something bad. All right, so today I'm gonna show you guys how I make my strawberry taste like ice cream shake. For this strawberry shake, I kind of got the inspiration from Mind Over Munch. Um, on her channel, she does a strawberry, a low-carb strawberry shake. And so I made it, liked it, and I was like, okay, how can I kind of, you know, add some things to it that I have or that I, that I would like, you know, more flavor from. So this one is basically my version. I'm not even joking, this thing tastes like strawberry ice cream. If you're a fan of, like, McDonald's strawberry milkshake, that's kind of what it tastes like, just just fresher and obviously anything that is healthy for you would taste better than a than an unhealthy thing I would think. The ingredients you're gonna need for this strawberry shake are frozen strawberries, about five to six strawberries uh, or 100 grams worth. Four ounces of unsweetened coconut milk, make sure that's the one that comes in the can. Two ounces of unsweetened almond milk. About half of a ripe avocado or what equals up to about 50 grams worth. And then these are optional boosters. Uh, I like including them in the shake, but you don't necessarily have to if you don't have it. I also include one scoop of collagen peptides. For today, we're also going to add some coconut butter. Any keto-friendly sweetener, in this case, I'm using the Pure because I think it has a, a natural vanilla flavor to it, so I'm gonna stick with that. To enhance that vanilla flavor, of course, a little bit of vanilla extract. And last but not least, a little bit of ice. Starting off, if you have a food scale, then that's great because then you can measure your food in grams or ounces. But if not, you know, you can just eyeball it and see exactly how creamy or how icy you want this shake. You're going to start off with your frozen strawberries. Again, using only about five to six frozen strawberries or 100 grams worth. We're going to use equal parts of coconut milk and almond milk. So here I've mixed three ounces of coconut milk and three ounces of almond milk. Pour that in. And then this is a half of an avocado that I used in another dish, so I'm just using the other half, scoop it out, plop it into the cup. Also gonna add our scoop of collagen peptides and one tablespoon worth of coconut butter. Sprinkle just a little bit of that keto-friendly sweetener, a splash of vanilla, and then lastly, adding just a little bit of ice. Twist it all up, make sure it's secure, and then we are putting it in to blend. Oh, very important and very crucial to this part of the recipe, make sure you have a kitchen assistant in the form of a very furry little friend with big ears and big, beautiful, hungry eyes. <laughs> and that is it. That is the creamy, tastes like ice cream strawberry shake for you. And of course, if you want the full recipe for the strawberry shake, you can find or follow me on Instagram at Danielle the Island Unicorn. All right, guys, week two is done and in the books, and we're ready to put it away and move on to week three. Wish me luck as we continue this brattle boot camp and get through it together. Of course, feel free to subscribe, or you can hit me up in the comments and offer me any suggestions, recommendations, or if you want to see certain things in my channel, I'd be more than open-minded to them. All right, I gotta go prance off to my rainbow. I will see you guys next week. Bye!